Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how I achieve this look. You guys have been in my Instagram DMs asking me who did my makeup, who did my makeup, who did my makeup? Girl, me, okay? I did my makeup and I'm gonna show you how you do it just like me. If you are interested, then keep on watching, girl. First, you wanna start with clean brushes and a clean face because that's what's gonna give you that flawless look, okay? Um, I have a mirror. I'm sorry if my um, camera is a little bright. It's not really showing the true color of what's going on, but it's okay. First, we're gonna start off with our eyebrows. And I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm gonna come back. Now that I'm done with the brows, I know that I'm looking cray gray, but it's okay. We're going to clean that up. I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Medium Beige um, for my bottom. And I'm using BH Cosmetics brush in number nine. And this brush, this brush collection is actually really good for beginners. Um, it tells you what each brush is uh, it tells you what each brush is for and how they're used. I kind of lost the box, so I just use whatever brush I feel fits. So I'm just gonna line the bottom with um, my concealer. Now I'm going to drag some of that concealer to my eyelid to use as like a little primer. And just blend that in. Um, honestly, you wanna really take your time with this entire process because um, don't rush. If you're in a rush, I suggest you start your eyebrows early because it won't turn out good your eyebrows to me honestly your eyebrows to me honestly gives you the look like your makeup ain't gonna be looking all popping if your eyebrows ain't popping you get what I'm saying So now at the top of my brows, I'm going to use the color Toffee. Um, I kind of like the highlighted look under your brows, but at the top, it don't really need much highlight to me, I feel like. So I'm going to use Toffee. I'm going to take my brush, BH Cosmetics brush in number seven, and I'm just going to lightly buffer that out. Not really too much because you don't want to lose the um, the shape that you got yourself. You really don't. To, to me, I lose my shape when I blend out too much. And you don't want that to happen. And then I'm going to take the excess off of that brush, and I'm just going to lightly clean up the middle of my brow. So not all the time your brows are gonna look the same. Your eyebrows are gonna look the same unless you really, really, really taking your time. But as for me, I cannot really take my time right now. Um, so before we get started on anything else, I'm going to um, put lip injection uh, by Tooth Face on my lips to give my lips that plump. I really like plump lips. Like, So now on to the eyes. I'm going to use Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. Um, I personally like this palette because it just has very neutral colors in it and you know, I put on like a neutral, a neutral look. This is what it looks like. This is what the palette looks like. These are the colors. I'm thinking about using Nooner, which is this one. And mix that with um, maybe Buzz, I think, maybe. 
Okay. Eyeshadow, I'm not really good at. If y'all have any tips on putting on eyeshadow, please let me know. Because it's people like me who don't really know what they're doing. That's why I really don't put on eye eyeshadow. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to prime my face with um, Kalan Care's Rose Redemption Oil. You guys can get this on Instagram. It's amazing. And as you can see, I'm running out, so I'm not lying to you. So, you guys should get that. Um, I haven't found a primer yet that I really like. So, that's that. So, now I'm going to take um, my NARS foundation in the color... Hewa Hine and Tahoe. Now I have to mix because I have really fair skin and I have two skin tones and if you're brown skin then that's just you know what it is. So I'm going to take two pumps of Hewa Hine and one pump of Tahoe. So I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics brush in the brush number two and I'm going to take my Morphe, Morphe setting powder and I'm just going to spray it just a little bit and start working on it. It's important to get your neck you know, always get that neck. Um, and it's important to really, really blend. You have to keep on blending, y'all. Blending is going to literally take over most of the makeup time, which is okay. Like, it's okay. Then I'm going to take a wet beauty blender. I'm using a beauty blender by Real Techniques. And you're just going to blend that out. Make it seamless. Okay, so now that you have your foundation applied, you're going to apply your concealer. I'm using, um, right now I'm torn between two concealers. Um, it's by e.l.f., the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the color Medium Beige and Medium Sand. Now, I personally like the really, really bright highlighted under eye. So, if I was to do that, I'm using Medium Sand, which I might use today. So you're just going to apply under your eye, just like that. And a little above your mouth, a dab on your cheek, literally and on the bridge of your nose. So that's, you know, time to contour. This is my favorite part, honestly. I don't know why, but, so you're gonna take a wet beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, I'm sorry, a damp beauty blender. Um, I prefer using another beauty blender other than the one that you use your foundation with because you don't wanna, um, you don't wanna mix you know product so you're just gonna now this part is very tedious y'all you have to blend your life away on this part so i'm gonna drag it just a little you know to get that cheek bony effect you know Y'all, by the way, 
I'm a beginner also. Like, I know this is a beginner-friendly makeup look. And, you know, I'm supposed to be knowing what I'm doing. I mean, I, for the most part, I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. I do. I know what I'm doing enough. Sorry, that's my eyes. I know what I'm doing enough for y'all to ask me for a tutorial. So, for the nose, I don't go all the way. I stop literally at the tip of my brow like now the key also is to um let me zoom in that should be better zooming in the camera <laughs> so the key also is to have good lighting you guys like don't trust one light i'm telling you not to trust one light <laughs> literally get a ring light you can get a small phone ring light like it literally don't have to be that much but i'm telling you it'll be your best friend okay so now on to contour um i'm taking this foundation stick brush I don't remember which brand this is. I literally got it from like, I literally got it from Target. And for contouring, you really want to get something really, really dark. And if you are dark skin, I really don't know what type of, what color you should get. Because honestly, I don't know how the shades go in makeup really like that. But for me, I don't know what color this is. I really don't know. I'm sorry. But I feel like I could go darker, but... To contour, you're just gonna take, um, you know, do make a bitch face, and just make a line, literally, on your on your um, cheekbone or whatever it's called. Then I'm gonna take some, and on my forehead, because you know what, while I'm wearing wigs, sometimes I could look real, real ashy on the wig on the lace then you're gonna take some on the bridge of your nose just like the slimmer that. you do your nose um the snatched it'll be so i'm gonna take that and then um to blend that out i'm gonna take a beauty blender and just blend it out and you're just gonna drag it down So as you're blending, just, you know. I really like very dark. I don't know what to call this type of look, honestly. But it's my preference. I really like this type of makeup for the nose contour I'm going to take um, <clears throat> for the nose contour I'm going to take a brush uh, my BH cosmetic brush in number five and I'm just going to literally lightly blend that out and drag it up to my eyebrow And you're just going to keep blending um, out that harsh look. You don't really want it to look too harsh. And I'm going to take the excess product and rub it on the tip of my nose and the top. You're still going to keep blending because, y'all, I haven't really found a brush yet that is good for this contour. 
But as long as my nose looks snatched, honey, because, you know, sadly, I don't have a oh. Now for my um, forehead contour, I'm going to take this Sonia, Sonia Kashuk brush. I don't know what kind of brush this is. I really don't have a number or anything, but I got it from Target, y'all. All, all these products are very affordable. The only, I think the most I've ever spent on is my foundation. And I'm just going to literally blend that out in my forehead. Now, this part is really good for those who have big foreheads, you know. I don't really have a, I don't have a big forehead at all, but to me, it just makes it, it just makes me look so bronzy. You get what I'm saying? So, now, I'm going to take my handy dandy Laura Mercier translucent powder in the color Honey. I also like Air Spun, which is um, the more affordable one and it's white but it works just as fine when you know what you're doing like I promise you it works just as fine when you know what you're doing y'all trust me so I'm gonna take just a little bit on the cap and I'm gonna take the brush I mean the beauty blender that I use to um, put my under eye highlight and I'm just going to set everything that I had highlighted. So for my cheeks, I'm going to take um, some powder and I'm going to line the bottom to give it a sharp look. Just like that. Now you see how my face looks so, so snatched, you get what I'm saying? Like, y'all ain't messing with your girl, okay? So, for my favorite, my favorite, favorite product in the whole white world, my Fenty Beauty, baby, my Fenty Beauty bronzer. I'm in the color Coco Naughty. This is going to give you that extra contour, that extra, 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 you get what I'm saying? Now you don't want to use too much of this product because you're going to be looking... A hot mess so you don't want to use too much so this is the um the contour palette I mean not contour palette the bronzer so you're gonna take your BH cosmetics brush in a number one and you're just going to literally lightly pat it not too much and you're just going to you see that do you see that? Ooh, yeah. You was not one of them after this makeup look. And I'm gonna take a little bit on my forehead and a little bit at the bottom. I love bronze makeup. So now you're gonna apply your lashes. Um, the lashes that I'm using is from my old lash line when I used to sell lashes a few years ago, a couple years ago. And yeah, you're just going to do that. And if you already have on extensions, to be honest, I really like makeup with extensions on already. But, you know, this will do. So I forgot to put on mascara before I did my lash, put on my lashes. And you want to do that. Um, ugh, I really hate wearing strips because it feel like something on my eye and it is so now um for so now you're gonna do your bottom liner y'all I use the urban decay glide on eye pencil but I kind of ran out so you know sadly I can't do anything so I'm just going to substitute that for the unstoppable eyeliner by Maybelline and you're just going to literally 
drag your eye down and put that on. Kind of messed up but so now that you have that you're just going to wipe your um wipe your powder off i'm using the sonia um brush to do that We're gonna take some blush. Um, I'm using the same brush that I just wiped my highlight off. I mean my um, powder off. So you're gonna smell a little bit. Um, I'm using this blush. Um, I got from the hair store, I think. Y'all, I kind of broke the top, so I don't even remember where this is from. Um, but, I mean, it's a cute little blush, I guess. I don't really use highlight no more, but for the sake of this video, I will use highlight. No, I won't. Now, I'm just going to take my Morphe setting spray, and I'm just going to set my face. Now, I'm going to take some mascara, use some mascara of your choice, and put it on the bottom. Lash. So what I get complimented on, you guys, is my lips. So I'm going to tell y'all my secret. I'm going to give y'all my secret lip combo, okay? So I'm going to take um, my NYX um, pencil in color Espresso. Now, I really like dark, dark, any dark liner. Um, this one is my go-to feel very like so you're just gonna um put line your lips i like to overline my lips that's why my lips be looking so big because i overline so if you are if you like to overline your lips let me just show you Now, do you see that? Do you see how my lips just went from small to big? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. So now I'm going to take uh, my NYX matte lips lipstick in the color in the color butter. Um, all of this you can get from the hair store, y'all. Like, really. Next, I'm going to take some Butter Gloss by NYX, and this is in the color Fortune Cookie. And I'm going to put it just a tad. Y'all, this is very, very pink. So, towards it, I'm going to put it in the center. Then I'm going to take 
another NYX butter gloss in the color creme brulee, y'all. This is, oh, I love me some creme brulee. Amazing. And I'm going to take this and put it on the outer corner of my lips. Then I'm just going to take um, my Broadway lip gloss, any, any clear lip gloss you can, and you're just going to literally lightly dab it. And that just gives it an extra, you know, shine. Okay, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to see y'all looking all flawless. And, you know, let me know that you did this tutorial and send me y'all pictures you can dm me make sure you be make sure you are following me on instagram at poshvanetta and dm me dm me and dm me your pics girl because i want to see you looking like a baddie with this makeup look you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm going to do my hair so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it make sure you like comment and subscribe and I cannot wait to continue on giving you guys some content. Um, comment down below if you enjoyed this look. And if you have some tips for me, you can comment that too. You know, help me help you and help you help me. You get what I'm saying? So, see you guys later.